In this video, we're going to be using HCNC Beyond the Void and the Last Shadow Sword of the Sea Shavette Razor, which was sent to me by Harry Wong. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, folks, we are back. Welcome in, welcome in. We have a good one for you today. Today, we're gonna be using HCNC Beyond the Void. And this comes to you for $21 for five ounces, which is a fair price. But keep in mind, Pete generally gives you more than five ounces. This smells very good. I'm gonna put the scent description for you on the screen right there. Very nice indeed. Scent strength is right at about that medium level, which I like. And this is in the HCNC top shelf base, which is very good indeed. It's not vegan nor tallow. It's not tallow because it contains ingredients like goat's milk, uh, lanolin, and tussa silk, but it's also not vegan. It is very easy to use. I got a great lather with it, and we're looking forward to using this today. And look at that artwork. It's kind of like an octopus, maybe in a spaceship. I'm not sure. I think Razor Ray yeah, did that one. So we look forward to using this one today. Now the razor for today uh, is very special. This was commissioned to Ian, uh, Last Shadow, by Harry Wong, who I think resides in Sweden, but I'm not sure. But <laughs> anyway, at least this Harry Wong. Um, this one is the FMS Shavette type razor. And Ian, I wrote down all the things he did to this razor. He put the custom scales on here. Uh, he made it, he put a, a nickel pivot pin in there, uh, Teflon washers, uh, abalone inlay, stainless eyelet, and he also made this very cool stand, which the razor sets very securely in there. So Ian just does fantastic work, and you can find Ian's work at HCNC, by the way. There's a collaboration tab on the HCNC site, and you can find Ian's work there. And so we're looking forward to using this today. This Shavette, by the way, takes Artist Club style blades, and we've got one loaded in there. And uh, we will give this a shot today. And now, I'm gonna apologize right now for the noise that you might be hearing in the background. For whatever reason, my dad today has decided he's able to get in his wheelchair, and he started the washer and dryer, and he's been making all sorts of racket, and I've waited about an hour to try to let the washer and stuff run, but he's just still doing stuff, and it's very annoying, but we got to do what we got to do because my mom's getting up pretty soon. I got to make breakfast for her because she takes meds, so I got to get this shave in. So if you hear any background noise, I apologize. Oh, we have giveaways to do today as well. I'm going to announce two new giveaways and announce last week's winner, so stay tuned for that. Let's get into the shave. By the way, uh, if you're going to order anything from HCNC, use uh, promo code IMCDB and he will send you a free gift with your order and thank you if you do. All right, let's start by misting the face and remember I will link the products that are available below and Harry Wong, thank you and Ian, thank you as well. By the way, this was the package, two packages that were lost, misdelivered to the wrong house. <laughs> so I'm glad to have them. I'm glad there was a good citizen there that uh, did the post office job properly for them. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's get into it today. And we have a very nice lather. By the way, the brush is the Yachi uh, Aqua brush. And very nice goodness from the top shelf base from HCNC. Very good soap. Pete just makes fantastic products. I'm glad that I saw what happened along Pete. Or Pete may have even reached out to me uh, at some point and I tried his products. And man, I'm telling you what. There's been no looking back. I have tried a ton of them since then. I love the oil. So if you get this soap, for example, and let's say the scent strength isn't right where you'd like it, just get the scenting oil. And I'm not sure what the scenting oil for this one is called, but I know it. I I'm pretty sure he has it. So if you know the scenting oil for this one, please comment below. And uh, it's a beautiful scent. I like it a lot. To me, it's right around that medium level, which is good. And we have a very nice lather. And we're going to try to see there you hear the background noise very nice very nice indeed i tell you these morning hours the only hours that i really have to myself and sometimes when he's doing stuff it's just like uh, uh, i knew he was going to be in there banging stuff around he was banging stuff in the kitchen it was just 
sometimes, you know, the stress just starts to build and the, the stress cup overruns <laughs> because this is my time to relax and enjoy. And I'm like, I've told them before or him, cause my mom knows my mom's, you know, very good about, but dad, he just does whatever he wants. I mean, I'm glad he's well enough to get up in the wheelchair and roll over there and do something. But on the other hand, it's like, man, this is the time where I do my shave. <laughs> You know, all right, so let's get started. Have never used this razor before, so these will be the first strokes. Again, this is FMS razor, and let's stretch here and see how we feel. And that feels very nice so far. Very nice indeed. Not bad at all. All right, no complaints there with those first few strokes. The blade in here is Feather Professional Artist Club style blade. Keep that in mind. I know I saw someone uh, in a group, they bought the Vector and they thought it used half DE blades. Artist Club style blades, completely different. If you're new, just look them up or I link them below. So you can check them out. They're wider, they're a little bit thicker. You do tend to get more uses out of these blades. Very nice, very nice so far. You always sort of have to get the feel for a new razor of any type, be it DE, Shavette, and see how it feels and see where that angle feels right. And this one is starting to feel right. Feels very nice. And I, I tell you what, Ian does great work. If you haven't seen his work, look at that Weka Sori. I used that, I don't know, maybe a month or two months ago. Um, he converted a Wek into a, uh, uh, Camisori style razor, which was super cool, super cool. And uh, let's just go over here. I know this, we have this stuff up there, but we won't worry about that. Let's just move on over to the other side here. And one of the things that I find interesting is that when I use a Chevette style razor, generally I only have to make two passes because it does a very good job of getting more growth per stroke than it does when I do a D. I don't know why that is, but I think the stallion has said that for a long time that he gets, you know, more work done quickly with the shave out. Of course, he's always said he got, he gets better shaves from uh, straight razors. Uh, but I will say I get more growth off quicker with uh, shave outs or, or straights, a uh, well-honed straight. Um, so I don't really need that third pass. With the DE, I generally do just to, you know, touch up and so forth. So, so far, pretty good. Not bad, and I hope you can't hear the, uh, the dryer there because the wash is sort of right behind this room in the utility sort of closet. I don't know why. See, that was a, that right there was inappropriate stretching. So, you remember before, I've done a video where I talked about, um, it's not important just to stretch, but to stretch properly. So here I was, because I wasn't paying attention, I was holding up here and I'm shaving down here. That doesn't do anything down here. You've got to pull down here to stretch a little bit down there. So stretching, especially with straight razors and shavettes is important, but also it's more important to make sure you're stretching the right areas of your face at the right time. So pulling up here doesn't do anything for, for the neck area. So keep that in mind, just a tip for you. When I make a mistake, I'll definitely let you know. And I notice, I'm like, why in the heck am I stretching <laughs> all the way up on my head and I'm down on my neck? Sometimes I talk and I lose track of what I'm doing. And today, honestly, I've been a little discombobulated because I'm like, I'm like two hours behind because I've been trying to wait for all this noise to pass. So it's, it's on my nerves. So I'm, all right, let's announce a giveaway winner real quick while we begin to relather. The giveaway winner from, from last week, and, and I tell you right now, I'm probably not going to say this name right, so I apologize if I get it wrong. I'll put it on the screen right there. Ayo Kanani, and if I'm saying that wrong, I apologize. Ayo, congratulations. Email me your email address to cdb at imcdb.com, your name and email address and I'll send you a $25 gift card that I bought from the Razor Company. And also this week, I'm buying a $25 gift card for you folks, and the Razor Company is matching as well. So Jason reached out to me just last night and said, hey, I wanna match your gift cards. And so uh, there'll be two drawings this week for $25 gift cards. So there will be two 
winners, which is awesome. Thank you so much, Jason of the Razor Company. I'm buying one and he's matching it. So that's really, really awesome. And to enter that giveaway, once again, we'll just do put IMCDB in the comments below. And uh, we will enter you to win. Uh, we'll have two drawings next week. So that's really awesome. Thank you again, Jason. I tell you, he's been super supportive and I really appreciate him and Pete as well. Pete has been very supportive as well. And it, it does mean a lot. So thank you, gentlemen, both of you. Really appreciate you. I just got a text from from Pete last night from HCNC um, asking about my mom just out of the blue. And I really appreciate that. So thank you, Pete. I will get back to you today. It was too late. I was already in bed when I got it. And so, um, Pete, I will, uh, I will answer you later. So thank you so much, Pete and Jason. In fact, I got a call yesterday from Jason from the Razor Company as well. So that's super awesome. All right. Very, did you hear that bang? <laughs> you can't win. Oh, Lord of mercy. And last night he was hollering upstairs for no good reason, wanting something. And I'm like, oh, goodness gracious. I'm really happy to help. But sometimes um, it's just, he, he makes it difficult. <laughs> I love him, but oh, you know how it is. Sometimes your family members, you know, they're just like, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go. Let's see if we can get this next pass in and try to, because like I said, I'm on a tight schedule. I got to get this stuff cleaned up so I can fix breakfast for, for my mom when she gets up. So I'm running behind. And also what that does is, that makes my shave tomorrow, I'll have less growth. And about 24 hours growth for me is perfect. It feels really good and comfortable. Less than that, and it starts to get iffy. So I don't like really shaving very often on less than 24 hours growth. Um, I just don't, it's not as enjoyable. All right, let's see where we're, we're pulling down here, stretching. And you can hear him making a bunch of racket over there. <laughs> what are you gonna do? There's nothing I can do except for press on with the shave and persevere. That's what we're gonna do today. And that feels really nice. The blade's feeling nice. And you know, the razor here is just holding in that artist club style blade. So the blade, you know, does all the work really. The razor just holds the blade in. So if you have a razor that will hold the blade in there securely and give it the type of exposure, exposure excuse me, that you want, you should be able to get a good shave um, as long as it's secure. You know, that's the key. But the blade here is doing the work. The razor's just holding it in. So this razor looks great, feels great in the hand. And I think Ian, Last Shadow, has made a very nice razor of this. Because I looked these up um, online and I didn't see the one that takes the Artist Club blade but I did find some that took injectors um, of the blade types I prefer the artist club style blade to the injector myself personally there's nothing wrong with injectors but uh, I prefer artist club blades just my preference and so I'm glad you know I have the one here with the artist club blade all right let's see if we can get over there close to the ear I don't know what dad is slamming around over there. I don't know how he could still be slamming things around. Some days you're just like, I feel like Rod, Rodney Dangerfield over here. No respect, no respect. <laughs> oh goodness, it's good times, good times. Hope you've been enjoying the, uh, the throwback videos. I have a lot of those to post, so I hope you'll enjoy <laughs> some of those. And yes, that's me. I tell you, I get no respect. That's a terrible Rodney Dangerfield impersonation, I know, but it's the best I got this morning. I'm just trying to make light of it. Otherwise, I'd be annoyed. All right. Because talking to my dad, sometimes uh, it, you'd, you'd, be, you'd have more success arguing with the cloud. You, just, <laughs> you can't reach him. And so it's like, Dad, come on, man. I've been doing all the laundry for a month and a half now. You don't have to touch it. Just relax. Be cool. <laughs> you know, but he wants to do stuff. I get it. 
just not the best time. You couldn't do it when everybody's up. So what I try to do with my shade is I try to get up early when it's still quiet before they have the TVs blaring and, uh, and do the shades where you won't have a bunch of background noise and everything. And so when he's up, it's like, oh, Lord help us. <laughs> and I don't know for what reason he started washing stuff today because I've been doing everything here. So, I mean, I'm happy to continue doing it too, but who knows? We'll press on. We don't want to be ranting about that all day. Nice shaver here. So thank you, Mr. Harry Wong, and thank you, Ian. And I am so fortunate that the person on the street where this was delivered, which again, I mentioned, if you didn't see that unboxing, it wasn't even close to here. The house number wasn't the same. The name wasn't the same. The street wasn't the same. <laughs> so the post office was just like, I'm just going to schlep this over here. Eh, you know, big deal. <laughs> uh, the absurdity of it all, folks. The absurdity of it all. All right. Very nice. That was really, really nice. I have to say, I had a really good first run with the FMS here. I'm going to put that aside. We will rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera did a rinse to get rid of the soap. And then we used our PAA Allen. After using the Allen, there was no sting, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the Allen, we did another rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with HCNC Beyond the Void. This is really an excellent soap, excellent base, excellent scent. I really enjoyed it a lot. And don't forget, if you make an order with HCNC, use promo code IMCDB and you will get a free gift with your order. And thank you if you do. We also had an excellent shave today with the last shadow slash harry wong he calls this the sword of the sea this is a, i believe it's what is it fms shavette type razor that has been modified and rescaled and he did all sorts of work on it and it was beautiful so thank you so much harry wong and thank you ian this is absolutely beautiful and i look forward to using it many many times to come and also this beautiful stand that ian made as well ian is very handy he does great work and again you can find his work when he has something for sale at uh, on the HCNC website under the collaborations uh, tab there. We used our Yachi Aqua brush and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. We used our HCNC bowl, which you can see right here. Awesome bowl, by the way. And we're going to finish it out today once again with the Quiet Man aftershave, complete with the floaties and hopefully we'll get off our day started just a little bit better after having had this shave because I waited and waited and waited and I just realized there was no way to avoid the noise so hopefully it wasn't too bad and be on the lookout for those throwback videos if you're new and you haven't been following me for years and years they might be pretty interesting to watch and thank you for the folks who do watch them and yes that is me <laughs> Thanks, folks, for bearing with me today. I really appreciate it. And don't forget the giveaways, two giveaways in this video. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do your way, and as always, God bless.